Hey there, fellow drivers. For those gearing up to earn those coveted driving rights at Bandura Vicroads, let's have a friendly chat about the significance of managing your speed during the test. I remember my first time, sitting there with a mix of excitement and nerves, eager to hit the road. Well, let me share a bit about how minding your speed can make or break your success. We've all been there, sitting in the car, heart racing, hands gripping the steering wheel, and the driving examiner next to us, scribbling away on that clipboard. Well, here's the lowdown, speed is crucial. Even a minor overlook of the speed limit for just 5 seconds or more can result in a failed test. I recall a friend, John, who was so focused on impressing the examiner with his driving skills that he momentarily went over the speed limit. He realized it a bit too late, and alas, he had to retake the test. So, a quick word of advice, keep a keen eye on that speedometer. Take extra caution around school zones. The moment you exceed the speed limit in these areas, even just a smidge, it's a straight route to a retake. I remember passing by a school during my test, my palms were sweaty, and I was so careful, you'd think I was defusing a bomb. Trust me, even the smallest increment over the speed limit in a school zone during operational hours can jeopardize your passing chance. Let's talk about the unpredictable weather. Driving too fast during heavy rain or poor visibility is not just unsafe, but it can also cost you the test. On the flip side, driving significantly below the speed limit when it's unnecessary can also lead to points docked off. I remember driving on a rainy day, I could barely see, and the roads were slippery. I chose to drive below the speed limit to be safe, and thankfully, the examiner understood. Remember, safety first. To illustrate, consider this, if you're driving downhill in a 60 km per hour zone, and your speed creeps up to 62 km per hour but you immediately brake and reduce the speed within 2 seconds, you're generally safe as you didn't exceed the speed limit for 5 seconds or more. The quick response can save you from a penalty. Another instance, if you're driving in heavy rain and poor visibility at 55 km per hour in a 70 km per hour zone, and others are also driving well below the speed limit, driving below the speed limit is justified by the conditions, and you're in the clear. It's all about adjusting and adapting to the road and weather conditions. When merging, it's crucial to adjust your speed to find a safe gap in the traffic. We've all been there, the anxiety of merging into fast-moving traffic, calculating the perfect moment and speed to slide in. I remember my instructor telling me, when in doubt, just breathe and adjust your speed to the flow of the traffic. Wise words I carry with me to this day. Navigating through the driving test can be quite the adventure, filled with moments of anticipation and bursts of adrenaline. Remembering these speed-related aspects can be your key to unlocking the freedom of the open road. So, next time you find yourself at Bandura Vicroads, remember my words and let the speed be your friend, not foe. Safe driving and best of luck, future road companions. If you need help growing your driving skills check out My Driving School at www.englishdrivingschool.com.au